Hello everyone, this is Grade 6, Module 4, Lesson 6, Problem Set. <clears throat> so we'll start right in. Um, in. The lesson summary, we're evaluating or solving uh, numerical expressions. And through this lesson, uh, there was a process or an order uh, called the order of operations that we will solve these through. So um, I'm going to come down below and we'll start right in with question 1. And I'm going to rewrite it out here so I have quite a bit of room. Now, based on the lesson, uh, we know the first thing we're looking for is any grouping symbols, parentheses or brackets. I see that there are none in there. Um, so I can then go to my next uh, step in the order of operations. And what we want to look for is uh, the most powerful operation. And when we look for these powerful operations, um, we mean the ones that are going that potentially could have the most impact. Uh, the first one is going to be the exponents, and then the multiplication and division. And those come along in the same step because uh, they do work hand in hand together. And then the addition and subtraction follows. So really, we do have a nice look at um, looking for grouping symbols first and then doing anything powerful inside of the grouping symbols, meaning exponents first, multiplication, division second, addition, subtraction third. Um, and we always work left to right when we do this. So <clears throat> we'll take a look up above at this first question. I see there's no grouping symbols. So I look for my most powerful operation uh, for this or the next step in the order of operations, which is exponents. Um, and I don't see any in there, so I move right along to the next step, which uh, is going to come here to multiplication and division. And I do those starting left to right. I don't do multiplication first. I don't do division first. I do whatever shows up first when I work left to right. So I see I have a multiplication problem right here. 3 times 5 is 15. And I'm going to bring down my addition symbol. And I see I have another multiplication problem right there of 2 times 8, which is 16. I bring down my addition symbol and then my 2. So I worked left to right. Uh, I notice that there's no more multiplication division, so I move right along to addition and subtraction. And again, doesn't mean addition comes first or subtraction comes first. It means whatever shows up first working left to right. So my first step is right here. 15 plus 16 is 31, and I'm going to bring down my plus 2, and then I can add those to get 33. We'll take a look at two more. I want to look at uh, number 3 now, and uh, I'll type this one in so you can see it. I see I have parentheses. Uh, inside of parentheses, I have 2 times 6 plus, in parentheses again, 8 times 4, and then a plus 1 on the outside. So there's my problem right there. Um, again, I have a set of order of operations that i got to work with, and the first one is brackets or grouping symbols or parentheses, I see that I have two of them inside of there. So I'm going to go inside of that first one, uh, and I work left to right. So I have 2 times 6, which is 12, and I'm going to add the answer I get when I do my second set of parentheses, which is 8 times 4, and that's 32. And I'll bring down, just like I did before, my addition, uh, and I have an addition of 1. So after I looked, I checked for my grouping symbols. There uh, are two there. There are no exponents, which is a powerful operation or the most powerful operation that we work with here uh, for these types of problems. But there is multiplication um, and division because, remember, they're in the same step. We don't do one before the other. We work left to right. Now, since there's no multiplication and division, I can go to my addition and subtraction. 
And again, I'm going to work left to right and find any addition and subtraction problems. And I see I have one right here. So that gets me 44 plus 1, which will get me 45. So that's uh, problem 3. Now, the very last question on there, uh, I'm going to write this. And we're going to take a look at our steps to solve. Because uh, I see that it gets a little confusing because I have uh, double grouping symbols. And this is problem 5. And the one we just did was problem 3. So I have 12 divided by 3 in the first one with a exponent on the outside. And then I'm subtracting... 18 divided by 3, and there's a print or an exponent on the inside. And there's where the grouping symbols are done. 9 times 4 divided by 2, and that's in parentheses as well. <clears throat> so, again, I'm looking at grouping symbols or brackets, and I see there's a whole lot going here. I look at the outermost first. So I'm going to focus on these ones. And then I can go inside of those. And again, I'm looking for, uh, I see I have a set here and a set here. So I'm going to do this inside of here first. And notice the exponent's outside, so I'm going to leave that. So I have 12, and I'm going to bring down my parentheses still, this outside one. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Parentheses are now gone because I did the problem inside. But the exponent's still there. And I'll subtract it with, um, I have 18 divided by 3 to the second power. Now, when I decide whether I'm going to do 18 divided by 3, or am I going to do 3 to the second power, I look at, then, those most powerful operations. And I have grouping symbols, and I go to those first. So my grouping symbols, and then I have exponents. Then I have my multiplication slash division because they're in the same step, and then my addition and subtraction. So I'll be doing the exponents first. So I'm going to keep the parentheses because I'm not going to get everything finished. 18 divided by 3 to the second power means 3 times 3, which is 9. And then I still have my 4 divided by 2 on the outside. And I'm still inside of that huge... Uh, parenthesis that I started with. So I still have another parenthesis inside of here. So I'm going to bring down my 4 squared in parentheses. And then 18 divided by 9, I know that's 2. And now I still have my 4 divided by 2 outside. So now I'm left with two sets of parentheses. And again, inside of these parentheses, do I do subtraction? Or do I do exponents first? And I come back over to my list of uh, the operations, and I know i got to do exponents. Um, so 4 to the second power is 16 minus 2. And the reason why they're still in parentheses is there's still operations to do. That's why I have not gotten rid of those yet. And I'm going to multiply it by 4 divided by 2. So now I see that I have two sets of parentheses, very similar to question 3 that we did. I work left to right, and I'm just going to take those out. So 16 minus 2 is 14. And now I have no operation, so I can leave the parentheses off. Times 4 divided by 2, which is 2. And I can take the parentheses off because there's no operations. My very last step, 14 times 2, is 28. So again, keeping in mind the order of operations, we need to make sure that we have the parentheses or the grouping symbols. Our exponents come next. Our powerful operations of multiplication slash division, meaning both of those in the same step, not one before the other. We don't do multiplication first, then division, or division, then multiplication. You work left to right. Uh, and whatever shows up for multiplication division, you do. And then the last step is addition and subtraction. And the same thing, 
addition doesn't come first, subtraction doesn't come first. It's whatever shows up left to right when you solve these. I uh, hope this helps, and good luck on your problem set.